once again your welcome class today we shall be learning about uh, image background we are going to cover and call this image dash background we are going to cover the properties we use to create and manipulate image backgrounds such as that we understand why the image behaves like that or if it was to behave like that what would be the, what would it mean and we do need to link this So when we talk about image backgrounds, we look at say image background color. So when we talk about backgrounds, uh, here immediately we are focusing on image backgrounds. <coughs> but backgrounds in general could be color. <coughs> it could be an image. If it is an image, then we could deal with things like. Uh, background image we could do with things like a background repeat attachment position and other things that we are going to cover under image background so you as usual you create your pages like that and then we can begin with the a background color, a background color can be generally added to anything. Um, it could be added to a whole page, for example, by simply saying uh, background for the body, <coughs> by simply saying background, and uh, maybe salmon. like that so we expect our page to have a background of salmon just like this otherwise by default it would be white now we could also apply a background to a word we saw this in text where we would then select this and apply the appropriate background color we could say background dash color for example it works the same as the, the above and then you can see we already have our green background you can define other parameters like widths and so forth and so on but here i am interested in uh, focusing on uh, image backgrounds under that we've already covered opacity we want to repeat it here we've already covered opacity both on images if you look for the tutorial that talks about opacity and the other things you will find opacity how it can be used properly now how then do we for example insert a background image so we can insert a background image by use of say background alone or saying background dash image you will not usually see the background dash image thing because the bug when you say background alone can define many things image and uh, and color that is why we would prefer background image alone you could use url here uh, to locate where the image is since we are under css if you go back you will see that we have a white background uh, we can say uh, maybe we are in images and then we could apply say image 8 we can look at how it is you can see we've already we already have our background 
if you don't want that we could come and pick maybe nine that is background nine so if that is what we want then we are good to go so just like that from css i am using double dots because already in my folder like i told you which most people want to show you it is good to arrange your information in this manner that you have an image folder you have a css folder then these other html files could be arranged like this so if that is the case the file i am using is this so to be able to pick the image and apply it to this file that is going to then style the html page i need to go outside this folder css and if i'm to go outside this folder i use double dot so dot dot forward slash then i come here that is why we use that kind of styling but also we could for example have an element and we could have say B, bg image a class like this and then we want to give it certain parameters here such that you can see it we can say width let the width be um let the width be say 400 pixels then we can say maybe height if you want to limit it 300 pixels now you won't see anything because it is still blank as you can see you won't see the defined and then we can say background you can maybe say background image url we locate we are still under the css file so with the double dots you can say maybe we want to use um this particular background we could uh, pick like uh, however small it is it can also be a background let me show you we can pick water and then we shall have it there as you can see by default it is repeated that is okay but what if it was big enough like using image uh, 8 or 28 let us see what 28 is so if it is big enough that's how it is so it means in here now we could write some things uh, under here we could say uh, h1 we have an artistic artistic background so that will also be translated to there we have an artistic background by default we deal with word wrap uh, otherwise we would say white space no wrap or break whatever but you have covered all that in cs in in, in the text tutorials please recheck them out in case you haven't seen them so we have created both background images and uh, now we can uh, look at background repeat another style so we can go back to an image that doesn't fit here uh, which would say image was an image that wouldn't fit that we had used i could just say water so water is an image that doesn't fit you can see by default it is repeated that's automatic by default it is repeated everything we can do here can be done on the page itself here you can do it on the page itself so this is just a representation a smaller representation of this if that is the case then we can see what background repeated as when you say background background dash repeat there are many options one is to say repeat which is default repeat says default so there is nothing it is repeated it is repeated so by default but when you say no repeat this is what happens then remember 
let us put a border such that you see where our container stops border one pixels solid um, red should be able to see that so you can as you can see this is where the whole container is but now because we've refused the repetition of the same image we have it is occupying the only size it has uh, then we can as well say that repeat repeat dash x in that case it repeats horizontally like this horizontal repeating then we could as well say y and in that case it would repeat vertically so that is how you can play around with border repeat rather background repeat but uh, it is surely nothing you would want to use surely this is not what you would want to use unless you are doing it specifically for that purpose unless you are doing it specifically for that purpose so we can look at background position we can look at background position now for now we are going to say do not repeat if we say that then it will just sit here then we can say background position here background dash position now it we can say right for example we can say right top taking two parameters when we check it has gone to the right top there are many things as to why you might want to do this many reasons or many ways it's up to you or oh, it is even it could even be a bigger for example when it was here it was affecting this word now here it is out of the way of this word we can read it properly maybe that is what you're interested in or you want to create different backgrounds and give them different positions that is also another way and then what if we say that can also be used for for gradient there is no bottom top as you can see it will still pick the default um, we can try that to say that if it was big then it would be starting from the bottom left it means we can define also right like this then it would shift to the right hand side if these were gradients like we are going to have a topic under gradients then you would be you would be able to see how they keep changing because gradients are shaded differently and if they are shaded differently then it means we can uh, we every time we change the position we are changing how it is being done so that is background position and we are making sure we are not repeating the image such that we are able to see how that image looks like another thing is on background attachment we can look at background attachment and this mainly talks about whether or not your background image should rotate background image should rotate with the scroll that if you scroll should the background image rotate or not so it has two parameters scroll and fixed and that is majorly what we we deal with that the background should not should not move in case somebody is uh, choosing to make it move uh, if we come to to our to our image here now we don't see the scroll bar because we our image is, is, is perfectly settled we could uh, if you come to say here you can see here 
it is just white you want to be able to see what I am trying to show you like this you can see the image is being scrolled hmm? you are scrolling that image it goes with the our text then we could for example try it out here background what if we say it background uh, attachment and then we say the fixed by default it is going to take up scroll because they believe you can scroll with it um, then now the image will go will, will stay at the background shifts those are the two ways you can make it out make it work like that you would the image with the background stays as you scroll the bus so here one of them is background and this would be background background attachment is say fixed the other option is scroll scroll is that when you move the background let the background go hand in hand with my let the background go hand in hand with my let the background go hand in hand with with the scroll bar otherwise you can just let it stay at that now another thing we can look at slightly uh, is what if we wanted to have uh, what if we wanted to have two images that we can define i told you we are using this because we might choose to have different images and uh, under this we could use different images in the same container is not uh, very common but we study this such that in case you find where you want to apply it then you should not um, you shouldn't worry that this is not possible so we could come and say um, we have that inside here we have a single image so far we could look for another image that is a bit small and all we need to do is apply a comma and then we do the url once again then we are able to pick another image uh, maybe a tree one that was water could pick a tree and we are saying no repeat let us see how that one looks like they are on the same location because we have defined them to be to be the same we to have the same positions but we could change that we can for example say that the first one should not repeat okay or do maybe because the other one is big we can say that the first one should repeat then this one should not repeat so repeat is taking two parameters that the first image should repeat and the second image should not repeat we can also say that the first image should occupy uh, top left now it jumps to the top left then comma so we're going to look at it as one because we are using a comma here. So repeat for this, do not repeat for the tree top left. For the water, uh, repeat uh, position. And then we are also saying that this one should maybe, uh, you could say top left. Let's see where this one is. As you can see, this is where it is occupying then we could say because we have allowed it to repeat you could say that um, this one is the maybe right bottom so we have it like that 
then we would have our our image in the, in the best way possible we can add something small here padding to create a few spaces inside there for whatever we are dealing with we need to refresh that then uh, we have image so this this one is giving us this how it is we can uh, because by default this one is slightly bigger image we can choose to change how the, Im the positions of these images and we are saying that if you you are big then no repeat this we can choose to repeat the small one uh, before i affect this um you can see where their positions are this is now top bottom rather top left and this is uh, bottom right then we could allow the art to repeat and if we do that, you can see it repeats all and occupies every area where this is not covering. So that is one way. The bigger one having no repeat and maybe giving it this position. And then the smaller one, we allow the smaller one to repeat. So it means we could add uh, the third image if you wanted if we had sm any other smaller image and then define it to be say to be at the top right here because the first this other one we could also say no repeat uh, what if we had here let's say instead of tree what if maybe we had logo if we have any other smaller image to play around with no we don't we don't so we have those but as you can see our logo is there then we could maybe if we had a reduced size of tree just try fixing it there you can say uh, url I could just paste and that will be tree can first also say no repeat just to see where it is its position is then we could say top comma top dash top dash uh, top right so we are taking it to the top right corner it just inside this because it is big but we could have as well worked on on its uh, on its size if we had its own class then we would define its size but then now it's giving a picture of if you had the proper images or per certain things you would want to to drop on those areas you would be able to do it maybe we can find a small image one of these we could find for example something like this should be smaller put it here Can just say OG then we come and pick it here so now you can see that with the relatively smaller otherwise I would have designed these before then I can do that to make, to make them look like icons or else you could you could increase for example here we can make this uh, 
I beat the big 500, they make this 600, then that way they are quite separate. So you could have something like this, drop a few images here, 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 and write whatever you want in between those images. If you would allow this, for example, to repeat, that is what would happen to the takeover, uh, the entire thing. So, there are other things we can do to this, for example, you can look at other parameters of background size. Uh, we could uh, can create another one here. We can say that VG size background size. We had looked at the let us say we have VG size here. Okay, can say dot BG image no size then we define width to be say 500 pixels we can define so it's just going to be too big you can just call it 300 then we can define height of around maybe 200 pixels then we can say background background die okay beginning with the background you are here we set maybe dash dash images then we can pick uh, maybe three and we come we shall see we have something like this then we can maybe say margin margin bottom 30 pixels could give us some space there we can see by default it is repeated so we come and say background background repeats and we say no repeat then it occupies that little space and we increase this such that you are able to see what is taking place 500 with this uh, height is 200 that is okay the border for you to be able to see where this thing is stopping we just a different border here for green so you can see it would reach this side um, we could even increase the height to show you that this tile is not fitting there is some space remaining here so this we had set the background remember up here you can see it properly now we said background attachment fixed and now that we have a scroll bar you can see the background isn't shifting one bit stays as it is uh, if we say the scroll then when we go back and scroll we shall see that so we have we can say background dash size the, in most cases we use cover because we want the cover to be we want it to be occupied you can say background cover when we come to our page here it is going to extend you can see we are losing some some pixels because it has stretched itself to cover the whole container and as you can see now the background is able to shift uh, so that is background cover but what if we said top bottom which by 80 pixels left to right which by 80 pixels how would this look like see now we have defined the size using background dash size what then it means we could say maybe which pie now that we can control it we can say background maybe that this one be 
top and bottom ready to be saved because when we go 150 then we are saying that the left to right is a is 80 you can see how we look like maybe we can make this also 150 then we have something like this see that is how you can play around with background size we had cover we had now to define the actual size the background we want um you could as well say we have looked at cover we have looked at the uh, at changing the background size itself uh, what if we say right now we are under no repeat so that is where we are but if we say the contain this is how contain is it can only occupy this space as it is that's how far it has contained itself but if you want if you were one if you wanted it to be of background then you would say cover define attachment that it shouldn't move if it was going to cover the whole page um, or if you wanted it to say so you are playing around with background size cover uh, you will look at the contain we also looked at the at the number of pixels and so on and so forth so those are the things we can talk about background um maybe another important thing to remember is that uh, you can use an image that has a higher resolution if it is going to be a background cover to avoid those stretches uh, the image should also not hide or your background image should not hide the contents of what you would want somebody to see otherwise you will have uh, done injustice uh, it is also you can use the body section if you want the whole covering of the page you can select it with the body like we put the, our very first image here was being selected with the body and uh, you can as well let it let it scroll because the other important thing on images is here if been, we've been looking at it when we start you can see when i scroll still covers um i come like this we keep reducing the sizes and now in some cases you might have an image that is not covering entirely what you are dealing with so in such a scenario you can just add if you want to be very sure you've already used it in some of the tutorials you could just come here and, and say that the height should be 100 vh so 100 viewport height you are saying cover cover the entire thing cover the entire image or rather the entire page then that way you would be able to realize that it can be it, it, it is now being able to cover even if you scroll it will always go with your it will always go with with how the element is or how the page is moving and uh, <coughs> responsiveness otherwise it would uh, it would be disastrous for somebody to come and uh, realize that your page can, your background leaves out some spaces so that is another way you test it out to see whether if you change screen sizes whether it will still be able to cover your image if it doesn't then you can simply you can simply do away with, with that irregularity by saying height to be 
100 VH just like we said the width is to 100 percent instead of using background cover <coughs> you could do you could do the same thing with this uh, maybe uh, at some point you would want to <coughs> you would want to to create uh, an image we have seen you could want let us assume that you have an image um, just here we have an image that we want on this page we could say hr br <coughs> we can give it a grass here then we can take our image um, we can we could pick uh, we can pick the profile pick when we come to our page we shall find it here big then we could as well say this class here that that class margin would be auto and uh, we shall see its purpose when we are could say maybe 10 pixels top bottom left right should move automatically we can define other things uh, on it but you would define the sizes for example you could say with this maybe say 500 pixels you could say height could be maybe 400 pixels here you are just affecting the image as it is an image I want to affect the image directly so I'm saying 500 400 I don't know how big it was but you can see it has reduced in size um, margin auto and uh, in case of any other margins I was trying to show you if you have you would want to change the image outside uh, it is in a class yes but you want to affect it differently we are going to look at other ways so when you come to um, image styling we shall be able to to create some of, of these and then we we can we can uh, look at how we play around with this particular image in our next tutorial while using other styles that we can do to the image now that one is just for reducing the sizes because it was big and if that is what you wanted then you would have achieved it by selecting the image directly so that is it the next story you may to look out for would be image styles we look at more of styling an image than just uh, inserting it on your page uh, that will cover quite a lot of things there we shall even look at how we can deal with images for example that uh, rotate i'm sure you 
you would want to look at the such kind of images we shall look at images that uh, cover the text on images uh, how we can position those then we shall have moved on